Hi, this is Vern Sargis, president of Oklahoma State University. For this edition of Inside OSU, we're in front of the old post office in downtown Stillwater. But now it's the new home to the Oklahoma State University permanent art collection. Let's go inside. I think you'll be amazed. With me is Vicki Berry, who's the new director of the OSU Museum of Art, and uh, here from Utah. We're glad to have you. Thank you. It's fantastic. Vicki has a very distinguished uh, Vita in the area of, of art education and uh, art history and art curation. This is the OSU Museum of Art, uh, but it's a little unique in some respects. Why don't you tell us what's going to happen here? It is. Well, first of all, OSU Museum of Art is an umbrella organization, but Postal Plaza Gallery here in downtown Stillwater is just the beginning. What we hope to do is branch out back on campus so that we can bring art to the students and make it part of their everyday life. This is really a very unique space, isn't it? It is. Basically what you do is you, t you take out the interior structure and you find the bones. And so our architect, Rand Elliott and Associates, uh, ha they have, the firm has worked to very carefully orchestrate these spaces. Rand Elliott, <laughs> of course, is an OSU architecture graduate and has done a marvelous job here. And he, he preserves a lot of the building. Sometimes yeah. I ask him if he's going to put some sheetrock up, and he yeah. said, no, that would take right. away from and, and there's all kinds of architectural interests in this building because right. these, these uh, holes, these little window things up here, uh, they explained to me that's where postal inspectors, all dressed in black, yep. would, uh, would look out those windows and be sure you know, nab you if you I were. Know. I call it low-tech surveillance because right. all they had to do was observe and watch it happen. Exactly. And, and you also notice the architectural, the uh, construction still is uh, orange. The history of the OSU Museum of Art coming here uh, is interesting, isn't it? Oh, it is. It is. First of all, collections have started and generated over years, but they've been all over the campus and people haven't really been aware of its OSU's collection. Bill Golston, who is one of our grads and is a, a very big deal in the art world in, in New York, yes. uh, really gets credit for calling and shaming me into getting, <laughs> getting going on a, on a museum and then this building kind of fell in our lap. Right. And yeah. uh, so here we are. That's it, that's it. And what a great opportunity for us to create a unique experience for our students. We'll have students partnering with us and moving alongside uh, professional museum staff and learning and being part of what we do. We're here for them. There's a wonderful mural, which is of kind of the early days in Stillwater, Oklahoma. They added to the post office in the 60s, they added that mural because in the, it wasn't original to the building. And then we have a, a, a new mur mural, which is on the other side. Right. Tell and, us about that. Well, Yataka Fields uh, is a, a, a native. Uh, he grew up here in Stillwater. He's a, a member of the Osage Nation. And um, we thought what a wonderful way to commemorate this building and what it represents. We have a reasonably large permanent art collection at the university now that we've brought it all together. Right, now that we've done all the bean counting and found out what we yeah. have, um, somewhere in the in neighborhood of about 3,000 objects. Wow. Yeah. Well, how about you show us around a little bit? Okay, great. Well, okay. we're gonna, let's head off to the Melinda Berry Fisher Gallery. Well, joining us is the new head of the art department at Oklahoma State University, Rebecca Breenan. Give us a brief history of uh, your background. Well, I come here from the University of Miami, and I was the head of the art, um, the art program at the University of Miami for eight years. But I'm very excited to be here at OSU and uh, leading the program to developing more opportunities for our students. What does this new space, this new OSU Museum of Art, do for the overall program and experience for the students? Well, I have to say that that's actually one of the selling points when I came out here. Um, when I was interviewing for the job, I was especially excited to hear that we were developing a museum, that we had a collection, and the collection um, actually now has a place to be hung. Do you envision having uh, a lot of students down here? The museum will have um, visiting exhibitions, and then we'll have student curated exhibitions when I'm teaching a class. I'll bring my students down here and we'll look at different techniques in terms of you know, oil painting techniques or uh, printmaking techniques. And we have really strong holding in those areas. And speaking of students, mm -hmm. 
I see we have a student here who's been helping a lot. <laughs> come, come on in here, Casey. Hi. Casey Pankey, right? Yes. From Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yes. And you're majoring in? Studio Arts. And you are a senior? Yes, I am. Great. And you've been doing a lot of work down here. I have. I have been working with the museum since May. And you learned much? A lot, <laughs> yes. The students have been able to be involved with a lot of the processes. Uh, we've done everything from helping with the collection to building the walls to actually hanging the artwork. Well, it strikes me that this is not only a, a great asset for downtown Stillwater, uh, and the kind of this new hip scene down here and, <laughs> and, and, uh, and but it's also a tremendous enhancement of our art program for all of our students not just art students this museum is obviously going to contribute to OSU beyond the art department and certainly the shows and exhibitions and the kinds of hands-on learning that we'll be doing here will affect students throughout not just the College of Arts and Sciences but the university as a whole Casey, has this experience made you maybe want to get in the museum? Absolutely. Uh, yes, I would love to become a preparator. When will the public be able to come see all of well, this? Well, we have a special event October 10th from 4 to 6, an open house. We're in process, and we want to show that process and celebrate where we've come. And then we're going to have another big gala right. in January? In January. Great. Where the full extent of our collection will be sampled and, and all the galleries will be finished. It takes a yeah. long time and it takes a village to raise a museum. I so understand. we're going to invite the village in. Good deal. Good deal. Well, this is very exciting and everybody is, uh, is just on their edge of their seats to see what's going to happen here and there's going to be a lot. So that's another edition of Inside OSU from the OSU Museum of Art. See you next time.